So we read, no, we don't read, we don't need to read anymore. So please show the chart 5.3. Chart 5.3, I think, is correct. So in the, in the Arupa Rams, oh, that's correct, this is correct. No, so I already told you in Arupa Brahmas. So, no, these 42 chaitas and four, no, the, the Arupa Vajra Vipaka chaita arise in them. No, arise in Arupa Brahma. Right? I already told you. So of these 46 chaitas, again, this four, no, the Arupa Vajra Vipaka chaita function as, no, the rebirth, a winger, and chuti kecha, so they do not, they are included in the nine mahagata vipaka chaita, and they do not occur in cognitive series. They don't participate in cognitive series. So how many call the witchy chaita of Arupa Brahma? Hmm? So we say this 42 and 4, 46 chaita, can arise in Arupa Brahmas. But this four Arupa Vajra Vipaka Chaita will never arise in cognitive process. No? Because they perform only this three function. So how many Chaita will be the Viti Chaita? Forty-two. No? Forty-two. That's all. So the bottom topic classification of individuals. So Pukala, no, in Pali Pukala means individuals or persons. So no, quite interesting again. No, all living beings no, in the 31 planes of existence are classified as 12 types of persons no, on page 149. So we can read no, the First, there are putujana means whirlings. There are four types of whirlings. So dokati ahituka pokala means woeful, ruthless person. So they are not a woeful person. All all living beings in the four woeful abodes, no, they belong to this class. No, as they are born with upikha, no, the akusala vipaka, upikha sandirana chaka. They are rootless person, no, rootless person, all of them. And they are very, very miserable. So, so we call woeful, rootless person. And sukati ahituka person means blissful. No, sukati is blissful. Ahituka again rootless person. So, no, this person no, exists only in human realm and Chetu Maharajika realm. I already told you, those who are born retarded, no, retarded and deformed, so very low wisdom, so they, you know, they are born with this, with this Upikas, the Kusala Vipaka, Upikas Sandirana, Chita. No, so they are rootless, no roots. The wisdom is very low. And also in the, we have in the, in the Chitu Maharajika Rem. So the lower Chitu Maharajika Rem, no, exists on the earth. So we have earthbound deities. No, earthbound deities who live on the earth. And no, there are no, some the deities who live on trees, or no, they, they have no, they live in the Akasa, in the space just above the Ita'at, so they are like that. But they are very poor, no, very poor, and some of them may be retarded. No, unbound deities, just roaming, without no place to, <laughs> to live, and with, uh, without nothing to eat also, just like both of course. So they belong to this, no, the blissful, rootless person. And Dwi Hetuka person is two rooted person. So, to do the person exists only in human realms and the celestial realm. So, those who are born with, no, so we say, remember this two Pika Sanina Cheta, 
and eight Mahavipaka Chaita and nine Mahagata Vipaka Chaita function, rebirth, life continuum and death function. No? So, like in celestial beings and the human beings, the normal person, we are born with one of these Mahavipaka Chaita. So if you are born with Mahavipaka, Jnana Viputa Chaita, you have only two roots, Aloha Adosa. So we call you two-rooted person. So if you are born with no, Jnana Sambhuta, Mahavipaka Chaita, then you have three roots, also Amoha, Aloha Adosa Amoha. So we call you three-rooted person. No? So three-rooted person is no, more, has higher wisdom than two-rooted person. So we say, if you are two-rooted person, you cannot develop jhana, mega, and pla in this life. Only if you are three-rooted person, you can attain the jhana, mega, and pla. So, what are you? Two-rooted or three-rooted? So I say, if you can understand a bit more fairly well, you are three-rooted. <laughs> so don't worry, just regard yourself as three-rooted person. <laughs> So, <clears throat> we go to the next, we call Mekata persons, no? the Mekata persons are the path person, there are also four of them. So we can read Sota Pati Mekata, Sota Pati Path person, Saka Dagami Mekata, Saka Dagami Path person, Anagami Mekata, Anagami Path person, Aratha Mekata, Aratha Path Person. So these four persons refer, refer to the person now, when they attain his respective, the Mekka Chaita. For example, when you are undertaking meditation, Vipassana, and when you can develop Sota Pati Mekka Chaita, then why that Sota Pati Mekka is arising? We call you Sota Pati Pat person. But not this person exists only for one conscious moment. Only why that Mecca Chaita exists, no, he is for the Sota Pati Pat person. So when the Sota Pati Mecca Chaita dissolves, so Sota Pati Pala Chaita arises without any lapse in time. So you become Sota Pati Pala person, that is stream winner. No, the same thing, the Skadagami Pat person no, exists only for one conscious moment Why Skadagami Mega is arising. And when the Skadagami Mega Chita dissolves and Skadagami Pala Chita arises, he becomes Skadagami Pala person, that is one Sri Tana. One Sri Tana. So you understand like that? So we go to the next four person. We call Plata person, no fusion persons. We can read again. Sota Pati Plata means stream winner. Skadagami Plata is one's returner. Anagami Plata is non returner. Aratha Plata is Arahat or perfect person. So, not the four Megata person. And this four plata person, no, these eight persons are known as noble persons, Ariya, no noble person. But you, you, no, you, I already explained, the four megata person, they can exist only for one conscious moment. So we cannot see them. <laughs> we cannot see them. We can see only the four plata person who are stream winner, one's returner, non-returner, and arahats. Okay. So on page 150, well, we come to the last topic no, for tonight. So consciousness in various persons. So we describe no, in, in tables. So in the table, no, on the left column, we describe person, Pukala. And the second column refers to Kama Bhumi, the sense sphere. 
And the third column, rupa bumi, rupa planes. And the fourth column, arupa bumi, arupa planes. So, now we first consider dokati ahituka. No, dokati ahituka person means woeful person. No, those with the woeful boats, like the woeful ghost, and then the hell denizen, and the animals. So, what are the chaita that can arise in them? So now we say they exist, they belong to the Kama Bhumi and they don't exist in the Rupa Bhumi and Arupa Bhumi. Now the Chaita that arise in them are all the twelve Akusala Chaita. And then seventeen Ahituka Chaita, rootless consciousness, excluding Hasi Tupada. And also eight Mahakusala Chaita. So altogether we get no, 37 chaitas. Now you know no, that this woeful person, no, they have no part of Samoha, so all the 12 Akusla chaitas will arise in them. Now these 18 rootless person, no, consciousness, no, they are no, eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness. So these data uh, are required to know the five sense objects. And uh, in knowing the five sense objects, the Sambhadechana, Santirana are also essential, and also Pancha Dwaravajana, Mano Dwaravajana are essential. So they arise in the Viti. Can you show the Viti chart again? Chart number 9.1. So we say, you know, like Sambhatechana, Santirana, and Pancha Dwaravajana, and Mano Dwaravajana. So they, you know, they need, they arise in the cognitive series. So they arise in the Wopo person you know, also, and they can also arise in us, in celestial beings, and in Brahmas as well. You know, they will arise. Now, about the Mahakusala Chaita, no, some woeful ghosts, they are close to no, the human human existence. No, some human is uh, like no, our human beings, no, even uh, the celestial beings. No, so some of them, because of attachment no, to their property, so as soon as they die, they are born as woeful ghosts. So no, in that case, when the, the woeful ghosts can be born spontaneously, a spontaneous rebirth we call. As soon as you die here, immediately they are born as woeful ghosts. Full grow. So they know from, from what existence they come. They even know, know what they have done in the human existence. So they even know the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. So we say you know, in the chronicle, so one woeful lady, you know, so with two, two children, so she is walking, you know, the, trying to find food on the road. And when she saw the Buddha, no, they giving the Dhamma talk. So she listened to the Dhamma talk. So that means they can develop no, the Mahakusala Chaita also. So we say eight Mahakusala Chaita can also arise in them. No? Like the animals, it would be no, difficult to develop the hell denizens. They also are born by spontaneous rebirth. So they can also, no, the, the, if, the, if they, they know the Buddha, the Dhamma, then they can develop, but very difficult for them to develop moral mind. No? And uh, the animals, they don't know the Buddha, the Dhamma, so they, no? they, they cannot develop moral minds. But we have some exceptional, no? the animals, no? like the cat, who can speak human words. And even like the birds, they can be taught to speak the, uh, the human words. No? Just like in the Buddha's time, when the monks quarrel, so, no, like the, the Buddha, he told Ananda, now I will go into this, no, the, the forest, no, Papaliyaka forest. He, he said, I, was, I spent the, the wasa here, three months I will stay here. Don't allow anyone to come. So, when he went into that you know, forest, the elephant, they go Paliyaka elephant, look after the Buddha. No, so he tried to find the, the fruits and offer to the Buddha. And then he bring, the, bring him water and give the Buddha. No, with his mouth. <laughs> with his, uh, the, <laughs> no, the <laughs> and then 
he he you know or uh, pluck the, the leaves and you know, put it on the on the on the earth so that the Buddha can you know, can can sleep on, on, on that. So that he is making meritorious teeth. So that means he can develop the Maha Kusala Chaita. So we go to the next type of person. Sukati Ahetuka is a blissful, rootless person. So they are like the retarded person in the human realm and the outbound deities. And Dui Hetuka are the two rooted person. So not the consciousness, the chaita arise in them are the same. So what are the chaitas? Twelve are Gusala chaitas. Seventeen are Hetuka chaitas, Hasitupada accepted. And Maha, eight Maha Gusala chaita. So these thirty-seven are the same as above. Now, four Maha Vipaka, Jnana Viputa chaitas can also arise in them. So altogether, 41 chaitas can arise in them. So we go to the third person. So on the next page. Ti Hetuka Putuchana. No, there are three rooted wallings. So they exist no, in the sense sphere, also in the Rupa plane and Arupa plane. Because no, those are the three rooted wallings. No, by meditation, they can develop the Rupa Vajra Jhana and also a Rupa Vajra Jhana. So if they can develop the Jhana when they die, they will be born in the Rupa Plains and a Rupa Plains as wallings. But we, we are concerned only with Kama Plain. No, the Rupa Plain, a Rupa Plain is a little difficult to know those data. So just try to know the Kama Plain. Now, not like the thick Three rooted person. What are the chaita that arise in them? So we can read. Twelve are Gusala chaita. Seventeen are Hetuka chaita, Hasitopada being accepted. And Maha Gusala chaita, all the eight can be, can arise. And also eight Maha Vipaka chaita can arise in us. Eight Maha Vipaka chaita can function as rebirth consciousness and then like continuum, and also they function as the Dalamana, no? the, the registering function. So all these 45 chaitas can arise in the Hetuka person. And at the Kusala Jhana, which the respective person attains. So we say among the, you know, the 54 Kama Vajra chaitas, no? nine of them, that is Hasitupada and eight Mahagriya Chaita. This nine arise only in Arahat. Only in Arahat. Remember, Hasitupada is the smiling consciousness of the Arahat. And in Arahat, no, Kusala Chaita do not arise. Instead, Kriya Chaita arise in them. So if you subtract this nine from 54, no, from the beautiful Kama sense sphere theta, you get 45 theta. And they, those are these 45 theta we just no, enumerate here. Now if you can develop five Rupa Vajra Jhana, then you can add five. And you can also attain the four Rupa Vajra Jhana, you can add up to nine theta. So if you add 45 with nine, you can get up to 54 theta rising in you. Now we go down. Sotapanna or Sotapati Plata person is stream winner. And I told you Sotapati Mega Chaita no? eliminates Deity and Viti Kecha totally. So the four Lobha Mula, Deity Kata, Sambhuta Chaita will not arise in them. And also this Viti Kecha, Samyutta Chaita will not arise in them. So five no, immoral minds will not arise in them. Only the remaining seven will arise in them. So now in the table we say no, seven Agusla Chaita. So in bracket, four Lopa Mula Deti Samyutta and Viti Kecha Samyutta accepted. And then 
something a he to ka cheta no ha si tu pada accepted and then eight maha gusala and eight maha vipaka just as the in the the three rooted no the walling so this cheta arise and stream winner can enjoy nibbana bliss by developing sota pati fruition attainment that is sota pati plata cheta will arise in them so all together we get 41 no 41 and you should add you know the all the kusala cheta you can attain so sota panna can also develop the nine no the kusala cheta so the nine my hekata kusala cheta that mean nine jana cheta so you can add nine so in that case they will get up to 50 cheters then the next person is kadagami once return and the cheters that arise in them is the same as the cheter that arise in sota panna person we have to change only sota pati plata to sakadagami palatha we go down again anagami is non returner now in anagami no he attains anagami mega and phala so this anagami mega also eliminates dosa completely so now that mean the two dosa mula chaita will never arise in that so na the once returner will never get angry Uh, we'll never have any worry no <laughs> so no and so so when you look in the the chaita only five akusala chaitas will arise in him the two dosa mula chaita four lobha mula ditikata samyutta chaita and vijikacha samyutta chaitas are accepted they will not arise And then seventeen ahituka chaita and eight mahagusala and eight mahavipaka chaita arise just as in above persons, no? They're the same. But now, no, this the anagami will enjoy anagami plata fruition. No? So we put in anagami plata person one, ana plata chaita one. So all together thirty nine. So only two less than sota panna because two dosa mula chaita absent, and you should add also all the kusala jana chaita that he attained. Now, now the last person is arahat. So now in arahat, as he can develop arat aratha mega chaita and aratha phala chaita, this aratha phala ch a mega chaita. eliminates all the remaining defilements no, in that person so in arahat no defilement so all the no 12 akusala chaita will not arise in arahat so if you look at the chaita all the 18 ah hituka chaita can arise in him because we say hasitu pada can also arise in arahat then eight maha vipaka chaita arise in them also because no eight maha vipaka function as rebirth and life continuum and also as the tadalamana and now no when they perform meritorious deed maha kusala chaita do not arise instead eight maha kriya chaita will arise in them and they can enjoy nibbana bliss by developing the aratha no fruition attainment so aratha phala chaita will arise in them So all together we have thirty five chaitas, and now we can add kriya jana chaita, no, that they can attain. So in the case of arahats, no, they can develop five rupa vajra kriya jana, and four a rupa vajra kriya jana. So you can add nine kriya jana. So in that case, thirty five plus nine, they can get up to forty four chaitas. So we finish. We accomplish our objective, not to finish half the Abhidhamma course. And if we have no another chance like this, to have no to have the yeah, this sort of gathering again, maybe next year, then we can finish the rest of Abhidhamma. No, now is 7:35. So we'll have dinner.
no? And then, so we will go to the, to the pagoda, no? all of us, we go to the pagoda and meditate it for about one hour. Then, no, at the 9 p.m., they will sound the gong, no? they will sound the gong. Then we will we'll come here, no? come back here no? to do closing no? ceremony. No? <laughs> So, Venerable Tikayana will give a speech, a short speech, just about five minutes. And I will give a short speech, only about five minutes. No? And then, no, you can pay respect no, to the teachers. And if you wish, you can also no, offer no, the, to the teacher no, in, in return of the gratitude and in honor of the Dhamma they possess. No? So, to give no, the the donation to the, the, the Dhamma is very, very no, the, the, the beneficial. Then we decide no, that the paying homage and then sharing merit. Then happily we close the ceremony. <laughs> okay, do you, are you, do you all agree? No? So that we do like that. No? Okay. Well, we should be all very happy for the seven days in the month Alam Lombani means very grand memorial days for all of us. For during this occasion, we have the chance to do meritorious deeds together and we accumulate many billions of good karmas so that we all become multi-billionaires. Hmm? And also, we have the, learn, the chance no, to learn the essence of the Buddha's teachings, which is Abhidhamma and Visuddhi Megha. So, no, you all get very great knowledge and wisdom, so, which would be very beneficial for your life. So, our purpose of life no, in this existence is to do meritorious deeds as much as possible and then no, to develop our wisdom so that we can attain enlightenment as soon as possible. And during this teaching, no, my wisdom grows bigger, <laughs> so I can teach more completely than I have taught Abhidhamma in many other places. And they say they have, they have made very good recording. So, no, this recording, if they can also separate no, the English version and the Indonesian version separately, I think it would be better. Then you all have you know, one copy at least. <laughs> so try to listen you know, this uh, this teaching. So most of your time, you know, most of your time, you can put into your phone, and wherever you go, you, know, you can you can learn it. So by listening to the the Dhamma teaching, you are again accumulating many billions of good karma, and you understand this important knowledge. I call them the golden knowledge in life. So, no, you, you will understand Abhidhamma and Visuddhi Megha more and more clearly. So, when you understand the teaching of the Buddha, you get the right view of life. So, to know, you know how to live very wisely and very happily and very beneficially. So, please remember this occasion till death. So if you remember, remember it at the time of death, this good karma will be result and all of you will be reborn you know, in the blissful realm. And also, you will gain you know, enlightenment sooner or later. So may all of you, you know, the, try to struggle to undertake this threefold double training of the Buddha strenuously and enthusiastically and may you gain enlightenment very, very soon. 
So we all thank very heartily Ontario Ankasa for his very generous and noble support to this teaching of Abhidhamma and Visuddhi Mecca. We shall also share merit to him so that he will live very long life, enjoying good health, and he will be able to do more meritorious deeds for the welfare of all living beings. And at the end of Ahabda, we share merit. We should close the, the, this occasion, noble occasion, by saying, Jiran, that's Buddha, Buddha Sasanam, Jiran, Tetatu. May the teachings of the Buddha last forever. So we also say at the end, three times, no? Okay, now we share merit. Uh, pay, uh, pay homage first. Imaya, Dhamma Nil, Dhamma Pati Patiya, Buddha Mbujemi, Imaya, Dhamma Nil, Dhamma Pati Patiya, Dhamma Mbujemi, Imaya, Dhamma Nil, Dhamma Pati Patiya, Sangham Bhujemi With our holy practice which is in accord with the nine supramundane Dhammas We pay obeisance to the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha Idam me punyam asvekhaya vaham hatu May these merits of mine lead me to the extinction of all defilements. Idam me punyam nibbanasa pachaya hatu. May these merits of mine be conducive to my attainment of nibbana. Imam na punya bagam. Saba Sada Nam Dema Imam Na Bunya Bagam Saba Sada Nam Dema Imam Na Bunya Bagam Saba Sada Nam Dema We share our merits to all sentient beings. May all sentient beings obtain the share of our merits and, and be well and happy, happy always. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Now we say, Buddha Sasanam Tiram Tetadu. May the teachings of the Buddha last forever. Okay, we say together. Buddha Sasanam Tiram Tetadu. Buddha Sasanam Tiram Tetadu Buddha Sasanam Tiram Tetadu May the teachings of the Buddha last forever Sadhu 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 And don't fail to join our Visuji Mega and Meditation class in ITBC from tomorrow, so that we shall go to Nibbana together. <laughs> <laughs> sadu, sadu, sadu. <laughs>